I don't remember the first time that I slept outdoors. I do remember the first time I went backpacking with my dad. I've always loved the mountains, being in a forest, hiking alongside a stream, being out in nature, having an adventure. It's part of who I am, part of what I do. So when I was trying to think about the next bike that I wanted to restore, I wanted it to be a bike that's an adventure bike, something that gives homage to the outdoors, to the adventure spirit. So the last few videos that I've done, I've been restoring things for this next build. The first was a bike seat. The second were some Ritchie Logic cranks. That was off the mystery bike. And these wheels also are from that mystery Franken bike. And they're not bad wheels. They're Nash bar wheels, nothing really special. But I wanted to give them kind of a unique custom look. And I've always wanted to paint some wheels. So that's what we're gonna do on this project. I'm gonna take this wheel set apart and customize it. So with this rear hub mostly disassembled, this is where I began to realize I had made a big mistake. I really should have removed the free hub body before I took the spokes and the rim off. I really, really should have. <laughs> and, and despite all my best efforts, I really failed. I could not get this thing to budge. I didn't want to damage it. I didn't want to rebuild it so I could get it off. And despite my best efforts, I actually damaged the hub. I scratched it all up. And since I want to customize this and make it look good, I needed to grab another hub. Now this is a wheel that I've had for a long time. It's from the 90s also. It's got oil slick spokes. So the oil slick thing is not a new fad. And this time I'm doing it right. Removing the free hub body before I disassemble the wheel. So, now that I'm back on track, it's time to start prepping the hub for the custom paint job that I'm going to do.
And at first I was gonna sand this, but who can avoid using a sandblaster when you've got one in your shop? So, to prep for the paint, I sandblasted the hubs. It actually cleaned them up really well and, and uh, I think gave a really good surface for the paint to adhere to when I customize it. I wanted to paint the rims also, so I needed to clean them up. These were nice rims. Well built, double walled. Mavic 717 rims. And for this build, I'm going to be using spray.bike paint again. I'm really happy with the way it works. And since my first video doing the Kona bike build, I've actually been in contact with them and plan on doing a lot more. And they've actually provided the paint for, for this build. I'm using it for both the bike wheels and I'll be using it on the bike. For those wondering what I'm doing here, part of the prep work, when you paint, before two hours are up, you need to rub it down and polish it with parchment paper or, um, or non-lint fabric. This actually compacts the paint and kind of polishes it up a bit. And on this build again, I used my Cricut so I could customize these hubs. With my old shovel logo. I'm also going to do some customization on the rims. I really like this gold paint. Spray Dot Bike has got some really cool colors. The metallics are new colors that they just came out with recently, and I quite like them. I didn't use the metallics on my first build. This is actually my first use of the metallics, and I really quite like them. And for this custom build, I'm using four colors to pay homage to those Canadian frontiersmen that use those Hudson Bay blankets. I really like the Hudson Bay look. It reminds me of home in Canada. And it kind of has a, a mountain nostalgia to it. One thing I like that made this paint job easier too is, is how quickly the spray dot pike paint actually dries. It's a two hour to fully cured and it's dry to handle within 10 minutes. So those stripes I was able to do uh, probably within about 40 minutes doing all four different layers, letting it dry to touch in the 10 minutes and then just covering and painting the next layer. 
I also, again, really like this gold. And the gold on the hubs, I think, really turned out awesome. And I'm not a fan of these anodized nipples on this, so I needed to clean them up. Just polish off the anodization before I do the, the wheel build here. Now, I wanted to line up also, you can't see it right here, but I've lined up the logo to face the, the tube valve hole in the rim. Just a nice, clean finish to the build. Moon, I'm there soon. And with the wheels trued up, they're done for now. Again, I want to thank Spray.Bike for the paint. I really love this product. It works perfect for guys like me who just want to tinker in my garage and, and customize my stuff. And for bikes, this paint is awesome. I love the way the gold turned out. I love the the Hudson Bay inspired stripes and colors. These wheels now are ready for the bike. So, if you haven't already, don't forget to like and subscribe. Look for opportunities to give those old things new life. And look for adventure. Get outside. Enjoy the outdoors. I really, I, I really want to finish this bike. Now that I've finished the wheels, the bike, and perhaps an axe are next. So, see you on the next video. Ciao.